All right, it is time for coffee talk. Cheers. Cheers. You don't never know what's going to be in our coffee mugs on a Friday. <laughs> All right. Well, the Guardian article, the Guardian wrote an article. That's a, an online magazine that wrote an article on the Just Not Sorry app. And in case you haven't heard about this app, what it does is it uh, it's a Google Chrome extension. It highlights keywords in your emails like. I'm sorry. Now, a woman created this app because she says that we say, women say, I'm sorry way too often. So she's trying to point it out in emails where we say this and tell you not to say it. Now, there is an argument that's saying, you know what? We, women should not have to edit what they say. You just say whatever we feel. So it's actually not a good thing for women because it's hmm. making us feel like we're not saying the proper thing in our emails. Yeah, but that's also saying, like, if you have a bad habit, you should never point it out. That's true. It's also not good for Southerners like me because I bump into a chair and say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I said I'm sorry to my news director the other day for not, or I did not say I'm sorry for my news director the other day because I had to turn out an assignment and I felt so strong not saying I'm sorry. But you know what his reply is? No worries. Oh, I'm like, wow. I didn't say I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. You'll get your pink slip after the show. <laughs> That's right. Well, for some kids, it takes a, a while for them to actually learn a good lesson. But one kid came up with a very clever way to make sure that his punishment was a little bit easier. Take a look at this picture off of Mashable. After writing, I will make better choices a number of times than he realized. All he had to do oh. was go straight down and do a big... He just connected the lines. Yes. So all the will, all the L's <laughs> and will were just one long line. Oh. This is and all the I's were one long line. My kids so would cool. totally come up with this. I swear, they're either going to be attorneys or <laughs> I'm going to have some serious Criminals. problems later on. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's genius. All right. And the, okay, remember the kicker for the Vikings who, um, who basically lost the game? Oh, yeah. um, he's from the Boca area. Anyway, a group of first graders... Um, uh, he decided to visit an elementary school in Minnesota after his team lost the wild card round of the NFC playoffs because of that missed kick. Anyway, he uh, and he uh, they all wrote him a letter to make him feel better. Their teacher says it was an opportunity to teach the kids about empathy. I love yeah, that. Yeah, this is great. I think it's such a great idea that, um, you know, we do need to learn about a little more empathy. That is world. really sweet. Hey, let's take a look at that poll. You guys have been participating in it. Hashtag CBS 12 Convo. I want to know what you've decided. So let's get that poll up. It looks like about 53% of you say yes, the birth requirement for president does make a difference to you.